In this section, we're going to be talking about polynomial functions and models. Now, polynomials, um, that should be something that we all understand already, but just uh, to make sure and to make sure that we ha all are on the same page, um, let's talk about it. In order for something to be a polynomial function, it must have only non-negative integer exponents. Now the word non-negative integer means things like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. 0 is not a positive number, but it's not a negative number, so we call it a non-negative integer. Um, now technically, it, you know, that's what the definition is. Now we need some more practical examples so we can see that. This means no negative integers. We can't have something like x to the negative 2. That is not a polynomial because this would be the same thing, remember, as saying 1 over x squared. Remember that negative exponent means we have to do the reciprocal. And now, looking at 1 over x squared, this is no longer polynomial. This is actually rational. So that's why we can't have negatives. Now we also can't have fractions as exponents. That means that we can't have something like x to the one-half power. This is not a polynomial because if you'll remember what a fractional exponent means, this is the same thing as saying the square root of x. And this is actually a radical. So we have radical and rational. Neither of those are polynomials. So that's what we're talking about here. Also, we're going to be talking about the degree of a polynomial. And if you'll remember, the degree is the highest power of x. So let's look at a couple of examples here. This one says, determine which functions are polynomial functions. For those that are, state the degree. For those that are not, tell why not. So we have our first function here that says 5x squared plus 4x to the fourth. This is a polynomial. It is a polynomial because all of our powers of x are non-negative integers. Now for the degree, Remember, the degree is the highest power of x. This is not in the proper descending order, but that doesn't matter. Our degree here is still 4 because that's the highest power. As for the next example here, we have the square root of x times the square root of x minus 1. This is not a polynomial. Now, we look at this immediately and see radicals. So those, that makes radical function, not a uh, polynomial function. Even if you were to distribute that radical out, then the square root of x times the square root of x would be x, and the square root of x times negative 1 would be minus the square root of x. Again, see it's still not a polynomial because we still have that rational in there. Um, this is not a polynomial because we have a fractional exponent here on x. This is a, a not a non-negative integer because this would be the exact same thing as saying x to the one-half power and one-half is not an integer.